Well, Nathan, congratulations on a fantastic career for the Essendon Football Club. Um, can you run us through to the decision to, to hang up the boots? Uh, yeah, I had a meeting with um, Simon Goodwin and Matthew Egan yesterday and sort of spoke about next year and um, you know, with a lot of younger guys coming through, we sort of made the decision to you know, sort of hang the boots up and uh, yeah, step down. You've been here for more than a decade. It's become a, a second home for you. Yeah, it's been 10 years and it's, you know, when I first came into the club, I, didn't, I was hoping to play one game and I played about 145. So you know, I've had a really good run and you know, it's a really great club and love being here and um, met a lot of great people and uh, had some wonderful experiences here. Can you talk us through some of the, I guess, the high points of, of your career? Yeah, played in a couple of finals. Um, we didn't win. I, my first year, played in the final and we won against Melbourne, but then uh, we played the final against Adelaide and, and Carlton and um, we didn't do too good in those games. But um, I think playing in, in, being involved in the Dreamtime and the Anzac Day game was probably always a big highlight, um, you know, those games and, you know, big occasions. Can you talk us through, I guess, um, some of the... The, the high points of, of um, working and playing football at the Essendon Football Club and I guess the opportunities that have arisen from playing football at the Essendon Football Club? Yeah, I think you know, just the people that I've met at the club are really wonderful people and um, you know, that's given me a lot of opportunities and um, I remember when I first came to the club I met Kevin Sheedy and you know, he was just someone that gave me my AFL opportunity and, um, you know, and being at a club such as Essendon that a lot of the community work that they do, it's, it's really helped me in what I'm doing and um, what I do off-field as well. Talk us through some of your, your strong friendships. I guess um, you're close with all the Indigenous boys at the club, but also the other players that you have a, a strong bond with. Yeah, I guess I came here a uh, year after sort of Joe Watson, so i um, pretty close to Joe. But, yeah, mainly I think you know, the Indi- Indigenous boys I've been really close with and being, I guess, one of the older, older guys, I've sort of played that sort of mentor, big brother role with guys like Paddy Ryder and Leroy Jetta and um, Dempsey, so yeah, it's been really good. Can you talk us through your plans? Have you thought about what you're going to do after football now? Oh, I'm not too sure yet. I've had a few offers sort of thrown at me and um, yeah, like I've got my music stuff with Payback Records, um, but I know that I probably want to go back home to Haywood and just sort of relax for a few months and sort of zone out a bit, I think. And um, But I know that I definitely want to come back to Melbourne sort of after Christmas and you know, sort of work out what I want to do from there. How do you feel pulling on the jumper for the last time on Saturday night against Richmond, um, who we obviously play in the Dreamtime round? Yeah, it's going to be you know, a big match for us. and you know, Myself and David Hill are going to be you know, our last games and also uh, Alan Davies playing with 100. So you know, we've got a lot to play for, uh, the boys have, and um, hopefully we can finish it off before we win. What does the Essendon Football Club mean to you, personally? Uh, I guess you know, the Essendon Football Club to me means family, and I think you know, like my time here, it's been like a second family for myself. And you know, I'm going to be pretty sad to go, but I know... Um, you know, the club will always be there and I know that I'll always be welcome back. Will you look to do any work next year with the football club in any sort of capacity? Yeah, I really enjoy the Indigenous um, programs that they do here and um, I think you know, I'll be talking to the club about getting involved in those and also like to be around and sort of mentor some of the younger players as well. Thanks very much uh, for your time today, Nat Rat. We wish you all the best for Saturday night and um, congratulations on what's been a fantastic career. Thank you.